Hello everyone, happy Thursday. Happy Thursday everyone, I hope you're having a great day. Um, I'm so excited to be making some sharp cheddar zucchini bites with you today. And before we get started, I just wanted to say thank you and let you know that um, this video is sponsored by Cabot Creamery and we are using one of their delicious cheddar cheeses for our sharp cheddar zucchini bites. They're going to be so good. And you know what? They're going to become a staple of your summer partying. All right. So thanks Cabot for sponsoring this video. Make sure to grab the recipe too, guys. There's a link in the description. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm super excited. All right. So we've got our ingredients together. We've got our delicious Vermont sharp cheddar cheese from Cabot. And if you don't know, Cabot actually has been around for 100 years in 2019. It's our 100th anniversary, which is really awesome. Um, we have some shallots. We have some garlic, some Dijon, a couple eggs over here. And then our zucchini, which it's super important that it's got this situation going on. I'll talk about that in a second. Um, and then a couple eggs, which I think I already mentioned, um, a lemon some parsley, hey parsley, and then um, our panko, which is already in our nice big bowl. So if you're hanging out with us today, go ahead and say hi in the comments. I would love to say hi back to you. And let's go ahead and get started. So we have our zucchini in here, and since it's summertime, this is the best time to use up all your zucchini and appetizer like this. It takes about three large zucchini to um, make this recipe. And we have, as you can see, a bunch of zucchini juice in here. Woohoo! All right, so the reason we are straining out all the zucchini juice is because it's going to make for a better texture in our zucchini bites. So what I did was I grated our zucchini, and then I salted it. And the salt's going to help extract a bunch of the liquid. So that's what's been going on here. It's been sitting for about 10 minutes. And what you want to do is you actually want to, I'm going to go ahead and switch to a overhead. You want to really get in here and squeeze out all the extra liquid. Your hands are the best tools you have in the kitchen. And just get up in there. You could also use some cheesecloth or uh, you know, back of a spoon to do this, but really I feel like using your hands really does help get all the liquid out because you can really squeeze that liquid out of here. All right, look at how much liquid's in there. Can you see it? Nope, you can't because I'm blocking it. Let's go ahead and switch back. All right, so lots of liquid in here. We're just gonna go ahead and dump that. And then our zucchini is actually gonna go ahead into our bowl of panko. Plop. You wanna get it all in there. So this recipe is really easy. It's a little time consuming, I'm not gonna lie, because there are a lot of things you need to do. You need to grate all of your delicious cabbage cheese. Um, the recipe uses six ounces and a block is about eight. So you'll have little snacks to have later and that's fantastic. Um, and then, just put this over here. You also need to grate your zucchini and you have quite a few things to chop, but that's okay because this recipe is great for parties and also you can prep a bunch ahead of time, especially if you have a ton of zucchini right now and you can freeze them once you bake them. They'll, they'll be really great to um, heat up when you have unexpected guests over. All right, so we're gonna move on to mixing the rest of our ingredients together. So we have our panko and our zucchini that we have squeezed a ton of liquid out of. Then we're gonna add our delicious cabot cheese. All the cheese. Then we're gonna add in our garlic, our shallot. And we'll do our parsley next. And then some mustard. We've got about two tablespoons of Dijon mustard. I know it doesn't seem a lot, like a lot, but it really helps bring everything together um, in this appetizer. Boop. And we're gonna zest um, about, I think it's a half a teaspoon of lemon or so. Um, go ahead and make sure to check out the recipe link for all the specific measurements. But I'm just gonna eyeball this because that's what I like to do. 
And we're gonna add in some freshly ground black pepper because everyone loves some black pepper. And then we're gonna crack our eggs into the bowl. Super easy, right? So one thing I really love about Cabot cheese is that they really take care of their people. They're a co-op and they're owned by farm families in New England and New York. So I talk about them in um, the blog post. And if you want to read more about them, go ahead and check out that post because they really do take care of their people. And it's something that I really, really care about when it comes to companies that I work with. Um, and not only that, they also create delicious cheeses. This Vermont Sharp is really great. And it works so well in this recipe. I mean, it's delicious. All right, so we are hands in here. Best tools you have in the kitchen are your hands. We're getting real messy. And I'm going to go ahead and switch to an overhead shot so you can really see what this needs to look like. Hey, Nicole, thanks for checking in. And if you are watching, say hi, because I would love to talk to you. And if you have any questions about this recipe, this is a great time to ask, because I can see your comments. And we can chat about how delicious Cabot cheese is. Keith, Keith Weiner, Cabot cheese for the win. So good. Uh, as you know, Keith is my boyfriend, and we live together, and he has definitely been able to enjoy all this cabbage cheese we have. It's delicious. All right, what is your favorite recipe to make with cheese? I would love to know, guys. Favorite appetizer to make with cheese? Let me know in the comments while I get this mixture going. Oh man, it's coming together so well. The panko and the egg work as a really great binder. And we're really mixing it up because you want to make sure that the Dijon gets mixed in and so does the pepper and the lemon zest. It really ties everything together. All right, let's clean off these hands. Oh, I'm so fancy with the two shots. Yeah, I actually have three shots going. I have three shots going. Crazy. See, oh, look, here I am over here. Hello. <laughs> All right. So here's what we're going to do. Hey, Henry, thanks for joining. We're going to take our baking sheet and I have it lined with some parchment paper and I've also spritzed it with a little bit of oil. You can kind of see it's a little shiny. Um, and the reason we do that is because you don't want your bites to stick on you don't want your bites to stick on the pan because they might, and that's not fun. So make sure that you spritz your parchment. I know it might seem a little redundant, but you definitely need to do that with this recipe. And then, do a little switch through. And then Deanna says that she'll be picking up some zucchini this weekend. Sadly, she doesn't think she gets cabbage. She's here. Well, I'll go ahead and check to see if you get cabbage. Um, on their website, and I will let you know, because if you can get Cabot, it's so great. But Deanna lives in um, Alaska, so that's quite an adventure for her to find some, some delicious products. All right, anyways, here's what we're going to do. When you make your zucchini bites, you're actually going to need two pieces of parchment and two baking sheets, and you're going to take a tablespoon at a time and just place it onto your baking sheet. So a tablespoon of the filling at a time onto the baking sheet into a nice little mound. Let's see what I'm doing here. If you have a little baby ice cream scoop, you can use that too. And you're just gonna keep going. This is gonna make about 50, 50 to 60 bites, depending on how big you go. If you do a rounded tablespoon, then you're gonna end up getting less. And if you do just one flush tablespoon, you'll get about 55 or so. And yeah, it's a little messy, but you know what? Get your hands in there, do it. So Henry says these might be better than nachos. Yeah, I mean, 
they're pretty good. And I also have a really easy dipping sauce for them that you'll want to make too. It's just a couple ingredients and it's fantastic. All right, so I'm just gonna put a couple more and then I'm gonna show you what they look like when they're done because I already have a batch made just for us. But if you were over here, I would definitely share them with you too. All right. So you can see our little bites, our nice little mounds. And what you're gonna do is you're actually just gonna take your hand and kind of flatten them. And basically these are um, fritters that are baked in the oven. So that way you don't have to fry them and it's less messy and then you don't have anything deep fried or pan fried and they're easy going and they bake pretty quickly too. So once your zucchini bites, hang on one second guys, there we go. So once your zucchini bites are um, flattened and your sheet pans are filled because obviously you're gonna use up all this filling because there's so much deliciousness in here when it's baked. Um, you're gonna go ahead and bake these 30 to 40 minutes at 400 degrees and you're gonna flip them halfway through and they're gonna be so good. So let me go ahead and put these out of the way so I can show you how good they look. Just clean up our mess a little bit. Oh yeah, Henry, there is a sauce. And yeah, Nicole, they're like a nice little one or two biter depending on how big your bites are. <laughs> All right, guys. Look at our zucchini bites. They are so good, so pretty. And then this sauce is just a um, sour cream, a little lemon juice, some of that parsley I already had, a little Dijon. It's already stuff that you use, that you use in the main part of the recipe and we're just repurposing it for a sauce. So hello, that's good. And yeah, you just bake them. I mean, look how golden brown they are. Just a little dip, a little bite. Oh my God, so good. All right, zucchini bites, are you gonna make them? They'll be great for the 4th of July. Go ahead and check out the link in the description of the video. And thanks again to Cabot for sponsoring. This was a lot of fun to make. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, go ahead and ask them in the comments. All right, guys, happy baking, or not baking, happy cooking, happy summer partying. And I will see you soon.